Hello everybody, Freedom Fighter here. Welcome back to the playthroughs. We are going to be play playing Home, Home Alone on the Super Nintendo. And we're, we're going to try to beat this game in this recording. So, here we go. What I'll do for the cuts. Great to be out the slammer, Harry. You said it, Mar. Did you run out the gang? Are we ready? I fixed everything. What about the brat? Is he home alone? Not for long. Ha ha. I've been waiting a long time for this. All that stuff. Jewels, VCRs, TVs. And toys. I want the kids' toys. Okay, but first we grab the jewels and silver. Enough Gabin. Let's do it. Let's get moving. Anyway, this is Kevin McAllister. <laughs> that is starting to buy all his lonesomes. And here's a monster. They will run for jewelry if they see it. And I just tripped them. Lame. I'm full. I didn't realize I was full. Okay. Alright, let's go uh, back to the laundry chute. Jump over him and drop all this off. Got the item that was in there without getting hit by a uh, Harry. It was played by uh, Joe Pesci in the movie. There by home. 
<clears throat> and if you hold up mostly on these mirrors, something's going to come out of it. If you don't hold up, nothing's going to happen. But yeah, yeah, make sure you're holding up on the Super Nintendo controller. And, and you're holding up, and I'm just going to fall out of there. Now we have enough items. Let's see if we can go collect uh, more pizzas. I forgot about more. I was not holding up, by the way. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Health restored. There we go, we got an, we got an extra life. Now we'll head down. Now when you head to the basement, you have, the first level you have to dodge mice and bats. Ah, man, I got hit. Hey, get to the end. Kevin does a spin move. The items get into the safe, and that's it. Alright, Kevin Cohen, he's the winner. These guys are pushovers, and uh oh, better hurry to the next wing. Let's turn. Yeah. Thought there'd be a cookie there, but I guess not. Oh yeah, level two. We are collecting toys. Yeah, a throw a throw away lion line in the movie became an entire level. In this level, you can collect at least up to eight items. And then when you get to eight, you have to go, and go to the laundry chute and put them down there. I was trying to get onto the billiard sticks. Or pool cues, whatever. There we go. We got a, cook we got a cookie to restore our health.
I'm not trying to go out the door. I'm trying to get the cookie out of that mirror. So now our health is fully restored. Why don't I talk about the movies? I didn't... T <laughs> so Marv, unless you pick up a toy towards him, he'll stay up there for the rest of the level. I don't know why, but I... I guess he's Batman. A oh, Batman. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to a laundry chute because my bag is full. Once your bag is full, there's pretty much nothing you can do except go to the laundry chute and drop them. Collect two more and I will be full again. Oh, arm chasing us. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to go out the door again. Bleh. And now the bag is full, so... Drop them into the hole. And I totally forgot about Marv. Comes again at this section too. Yeah. Let's try to find more to uh, more toys. And in this mirror was a bottle. It's, an, it's an, an invincibility bottle. Pick it up. Kevin runs super fast, and nothing can kill him for a short period of time. Now we got uh, got all the loot in the basement, all the toys. Those toys are very important to this child. Now for level two, what do we have to dodge? Spiders. I mean, they look like spiders. 
And these right here, you actually control by your, your jumping. And now we come to our first boss fight of the game. A giant spot... A giant red spider and a block that appears in the in the middle of the, of the stage. To do is hit the block with your head. It falls and get it to fall on the enemy. He gets damaged. It takes five hits to uh, take a boss out. So we already hit him four times now. We hit him one more time. He's out. And that was my fault. But we got him. And there we go. The toys are safe. That's all right. That's right, folks. Kevin McAllister. Remember that name. He's the best at the electronic swing. I can't let those jerks clear it out. I am not hitting the buttons at all. Fortunately, that it just moves pretty fast. That at Tex. Hey, yeah, now we're in level three. And now they're after. Sorry about that, just saw mean people. Ah, oh, man. Oh, well. There's plenty of, of VCRs and T electronics anyway, so even if, if a criminal uh, picks up one, they'll 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 run away. I remember how you get that one. There is a bottle somewhere in the subble, and that's how you get that one in tax. Mm. Smart man, he doesn't walk into the tax. But not smart enough to do just Booyah. Your face. Find a, let me see if I can find a hole somewhere, because my bag is full and uh, can't really do much. Can't really pick up pick up any any more stuff if I wanted to.
And there's a whole pizza. You grab a whole pizza, and you get an extra life. And you you get enough pizza slices that we're collecting eight, about when it's and it's eight. That will also <clears throat> that will also get you an extra life. Oh yeah, tour the pizza, Kevin. I'm sure it tastes great. And there's the bottle that we're going to use to get that item that's in the tax. Also take out that criminal. And there we go. Oh, it just ran out. That's... that's crap. Now we have... To, now we have seven lives. Yeah, to this house there are two floors. Most of the rooms have have, have enough. Get yeah, get enough items. Run to the basement. Hey, convenient hole. Over here are light switches that you can turn on with your water gun, and boom! TVs that come out of the ceiling. <laughs> make this, uh, make this little platforming obstacle. Uh, then, ah oh, man, I fell into the tax. I was trying to make that platforming obstacle. As if you do that, you can get the strongest weapon in the game, the BB gun. But I fall into the tax. Yeah, that block. Ah, the blocks are really are really small. So you have to. You have to do your jumping well. Drop off our last items. There we go, we got it. Now on to finish double three. Down here, what do we have to dodge this time? Ghost! Oh no! Run, McAllister! There are ghosts in the basement! Ah, <laughs> oh, shoot. 
God, and I didn't get hit twice. No! Great, I got. <laughs> And for the boss fight, for the giant ghost, all you gotta make sure is get the block to hit his head. And that's it. <laughs> it's funny how I took out the boss, no problem. And I had trouble with his ghost skewing before him. <laughs> he does it again! Nothing's too tough for this kid! That should teach those bozos. Hey, I forgot. Our pet's dad says they're rare, and they cost a fortune, too. Hang on, fellas. I'm on my way. Yes. This last level, we're now collecting pets. Never. There we go, we got an we got an extra life pack. I'm guessing that's a cookie that comes out of there. That's why I really can't see it. What were those frogs doing? This is a kid's game, right? Anyway, my opinions on the movies. Since we're coming up to the end game, Home Alone 1, I like it. Um, it's definitely a classic, a Christmas classic for a lot of reasons. And in a lot of ways, I do like it better than the, the sequel. Lost in New York, but the sequel is also really good too. But I like, but I like both movies. And the other movies, three, three is a, 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 from what I heard is a is an abomination. If you're gonna make the monsters that are not Harry and Marv, you make them super eight. Agent spy types. I'm sorry, the kid in three was just too smart. And the, the fourth one where it's a, the, that apparently is a prequel because Harry is like young looking and he's named by French Stewart. Why would French Stewart take over the role of Joe Pesci? Yeah.
Alright, now up the stairs. We can't go up. That's the basement door. Tim Pets. Hey, a convenient hole. How do I keep missing this bird? Oh, come on. I was right on it that time. There we go. Let's go drop the last of our items that we have in the laundry chute. And now it's time to, time to try to try to go down there and beat the game. So let's do it. We have six lives. I think I'm I'm pretty sure we can do this. So for the final level, we are dodging mice again. Well, this time there's no bats, but still. And then one that comes from the top really fast, so watch out for that one. When we get to the end, we have a big one to take out. I 
And this one, this boss, he'll move when he wants to. He has a very different pattern between the spider and the ghost. But the trick with him is go all the way to the left. As you see, he won't go all, he, he can't go all the, the way to the left. So now I gotta have him, ah! Instead of when he does that move, jumps, jumps to the left and that instantly hits you. Hits you. We had him four, hit four times. That's three. Ah! See? He doesn't go, go where you want him to. We'll beat him. We'll beat him. Got him! Yeah! And now the pets are safe and the game is over. Well, I guess that about does it. Chalk up another one for Mom? Dad? Is that you? Oh! Oh, sweetheart! I'm so very sorry! I'm sure you are. It's okay, Mom. I love him. House. Did anything happen while we were away? Oh, nothing I can handle. No jail can hold the wet bandits. Shut up, Marb. There we go. Home Alone is over. Yeah, told you. This game is very short. Four levels on. There's your game over. And go. Your score. And that's it. Um, I will be doing a Let's Play of the sequel, so stay tuned for that, and see y'all guys next time.